Shalom. We're the ISUPK coming out of 1 West 125th Street in Harlem, New York, under Commanding General Yohanna. My name is Officer Hamakwabop, and I would like to welcome you to the ISUPK Louisville class. And today's topic is going to be being a soldier in hell. You see, here's the thing. A lot of black men in America have to battle many things just to survive. You see what I'm saying? Right. And the scriptures prophesy that. And the thing is, is we got we to gotta know how to be able to fight these battles. And the scriptures give us the blueprint on how to do that. That's by living by the laws, statutes, and commandments of the Most High. So if you could, get me Exodus chapter 15 and verse 3. See, here's the thing. We are made in the image. You know what I'm saying? We are made in the image of the Most High. And the Most High is a man of war. You see what I'm saying? You got that scripture? Uh, Exodus 15, verse 3. The Lord is a man of war. Who's a man of war? The Lord is a man of war. The Lord is a man of war. You see what I'm saying? So when you see the ISUPK all dressed in military apparel, you see what I'm saying? We are, you know what I'm saying, being like our father. Right? He's a man of war. Not wearing some purple gown or something like that. You see what I'm saying? And the thing is, we're in hell. We are in hell. If you are black, Hispanic, or native Indian man here in America and really throughout the world, an Israelite throughout the planet, you are in hell because of our condition. See, hell is a condition. It's not some you know, place under the ground and, and, you know, you're thinking a, a, a motherfucker's like it, you know what I'm saying, with a pitchfork is going to poke your ass when you get down there. That's, that's, that's a Christian fable. You see what I'm saying? And the, and the men of the ISUPK under Commanding General Yohanna, we smash through all those lies and ideologies and philosophies. You see what I'm saying? Hell is a condition. And if we could, give me the book of Ecclesiastes, Ecclesiastes chapter 3. In verse 16, because see, we're going to establish, you know what I'm saying, what hell is. You know, we're calling ourselves soldiers, being a soldier in hell. So we're going to establish what hell is. If you can read that for me in the book of Ecclesiastes chapter 3, start at verse 16, Salakia. Ecclesiastes chapter 3, verse 16. Go ahead. And moreover, I saw under the sun. Okay. Under the sun, right? Right. Go ahead. The place of judgment. The place of judgment. Now, what does the Christian church say? Oh, you're going to get judged when you go to hell. Mm -hmm. Okay, we in right. hell. Right. You see what I'm saying? Not, not, you know, you fall on a hot rock with lava, and, you know, demons mm -hmm. down there, and they're going to, you know, got a pitchfork and about to you know, cut you. You better watch. when you walk <laughs> through that alley. You right. say you get poked going through that mug. Right. Go ahead. That wickedness was there that, that wickedness was there right right we you see on if you turn on the evening news you see all type of wickedness mm -hmm. you see drive by that's just like here in louisville kentucky it was just a drive by a black woman got shot they said it was like over 50 uh slakia 40 mm -hmm. gunshots bullets in in that car right in a drive-by right. that's wicked you see what i'm saying mm -hmm. and the christian church lies to you know blacks hispanics and native Indians tell telling them that um, that's just like they scare you. Like you better do right, or you're gonna go to hell. Right. You better right. do right. You you know what I'm saying? You walking on eggshells, afraid that uh, the the devil, you know, that they say is a red monster in the ground is gonna get you. <laughs> when the devil <laughs> is knocking at your door wearing a, a white uh, shirt, and you know, calling himself a Jehovah Witness. <laughs> mm. You see what I'm saying? Right. Finish read that. And the place of righteousness. And the place of righteousness. That inequity was there. That iniquity was there. Iniquity was there. You see what I'm saying? Hell is conditioned here on earth. And because, you know what I'm saying, we break 
the law, statutes, and commandments of the Most High, we experience hell. Mm -hmm. What is hell? Hell is, you know what I'm saying, sleeping on the street. You know what I'm saying, sleeping in an alley. Or if you do have a roof over your head, you don't, you don't have any electricity. Mm -hmm. It's hot up in there. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? It's just like, <laughs> uh, it was a rapper, DMX. He said, it's hell, is, what is it, is it dark and hell is hot or something? That's the name <laughs> of the, I'm just, you know, it, it, he knew. Right. It's hot up in this mug. You know what I'm saying? You in your apartment, it's hot. No, no electricity. And if you don't have any electricity, you can't preserve food in the refrigerator, right? Mm -hmm. You see what I'm saying? No AC, no fan. Especially in the summertime, that's hell. Mm -hmm. You see what I'm saying? Any more on that? No, it goes to 17. Okay. Uh, yep. Yeah, give me 17 also. Ecclesiastes chapter 3, verse 17. I said in my heart, God shall judge the righteous and the wicked, for there is a time there are for every purpose and for every work. That's the, that's the thing it is. When we live this life here on earth, you know what I'm saying? This, our works, what we do, determines our judgment. Now, judgment can be good. It can be bad. You see what I'm saying? But when you break the laws, statutes, and commandments of the Most High, you are in hell. Mm. You see what I'm saying? Matter of fact, if you could, let me get, this is in, in the Apocrypha. Okay. Let me get 2nd Ezra, chapter 7, start at verse 57. 2nd Ezra, chapter 7, mm. and verse 57. Because here's the thing. It's just like on this shirt. Life is about war. Nothing else. Now, that's a hard concept for the Christian to grasp. You see what I'm saying? They can't grasp that this is like, like a video game. Mm -hmm. You see what I'm saying? It's just like you play one of those video games, those action games, and, you know, it's exciting and right. hack and slash and all that. Well, to the most high, this is his, you know, how would I want to say? I don't want to say entertainment, but this is the experience he created. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? He made things for his pleasure. You mm -hmm. see what I'm saying? Just like you get pleasure playing that game, right, the Most right. High gets pleasure in seeing his people overcome challenges. You oh, know what I'm saying? Oh, and we man. get a reward at the end. Just like you play that video game right. and you live ha happily ever after. Right. We're right. in the midst of an experience where we have to, you know what I'm saying, endure um, challenges and hardness and, and, um, just be a soldier. Right. And we in hell, man. Damn. We in hell. You have to, you know, you're being a soldier in hell if you're black, Hispanic, and Native Indian. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Let me get that scripture. All right, second, Astros, chapter 7, verse 57. Go ahead. The answer he me and said, this is the condition of the battle. Okay, this is the condition of the battle. Okay, when there's a battle... That means there's opposition. You see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And that's the thing about it. A lot of us, like especially in the Christian church, we get gassed up and say, you know, say if you if you just you know pay your tithes, you know everything's gonna be all right. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> your blessing might come in a paper bag. Right, you, know, right. you see what I'm saying? But this is a battle, man. Mm -hmm. It's a battle to keep your wits, your your sanity, your health, your woman, mm -hmm. your dog. You know what I'm saying? Right. Go ahead. Which man that is born upon the earth shall fight? Which man that is born upon the earth shall fight? Mm -hmm. Shall. Shall. Fight. Not might fight. Right. Shall fight. Shall fight. And that's the thing about it. You're going to fight. And that's the thing. A black man had to fight so many things in his life. He got to fight discrimination. Mm -hmm. Not, you know what I'm saying, in this Babylon here in America, he got to fight not being able to get a job mm -hmm. because of white supremacy, because of the devil, Esau, the white man in the Bible, oppressing us. You see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. He got to fight in his home with his woman. Right. His real. Right. You know what I'm saying? Nigga, where you been? You, you five minutes late. You said you was going to be there. I text you and all. You got to fight all that. You see what I'm saying? 
Right. You fighting. You got kids, you got to fight with them. Hey, sit your ass down. You know what I'm saying? I told you, I don't make me get up. You know what I'm saying? You got to fight that. You fighting all the damn time here in this life, here in Babylon, here in America. Mm -hmm. What else you got on that? It goes to verse 58. Let me see. Yeah, let me get verse 58. All right. Verse 58. That if he be overcome, he oh. should. Okay, if he be overcome. Mm -hmm. Now, that's the thing about it. That's the thing that blacks, Hispanics, and native Indians here in Babylon, because of our sin, many of us are overcome. Mm. How? With drugs. With sin, basically. Mm. You see what I'm saying? Homosexuality. Lesbianism for the sisters. You see what I'm saying? Being a wicked team, being a murderer. Right. Being a thief. Many of us are overcome because of sin. Mm. But would it read that again? That if he be overcome. That that if he be overcome. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. He shall suffer as thou hast said. He like him. He shall suffer as thou hast said. Mm -hmm. And this is another hard concept for the Christian church to grasp. When they see people out here suffering. They don't understand. A lot of time, that's the result of their actions. I, I, you know, mm. he say, read that again. That if he be overcome, he shall suffer. No, as thou has said, he shall suffer as thou has said. You see what I'm saying? You see a lot of people out here suffering. Mm. It's just like the old expression. You made your bed. Lay in it. Now you got to lay in it. Right, right. You see what I'm saying? And that comes from not living by the laws, statutes, and commandments of the Most High. Mm -hmm. And here in the Israelite School of Universal Practical Knowledge under Commanding General Yohanna, we teach the laws, statutes, and commandments of the Most High so that you don't have to suffer. But the thing is, you have to follow the men of the ISUPK, the priests and prophets, the true priests and prophets. Mm -hmm. If you follow in some fake Israelite group, you see what I'm saying? You are in error and you are in danger of suffering. Hmm. Is any more on that? Come. On. But if he get the victory. But here's the thing about it. If he get the victory, mm -hmm. and that's what we do in the ISUPK, we take ground. Mm -hmm. We earn victories every day. We don't take losses. You understand me? Go ahead. He shall receive the thing that I say. He shall receive. The thing that I say. Now, when you read the scriptures, the audience is always Israel. So this is talking about me. This is talking about you. Mm -hmm. Read that again. But if he get the victory. If he, if I, if you get the victory, go ahead. He shall receive the thing that I say. He shall receive the thing that I say. Now, this is the words of the most high. Mm -hmm. This is good things. You know what I'm saying? He delight, you know what I'm saying? That's just like, um, what's that scripture say? Let me, I'm paraphrasing. It's, he say, um, goodness, it's on the tip of my tongue. I know the, the plans that I have. The thoughts I have. The too. thoughts that I have for you. Good, not evil. Good, thoughts of good, not evil. Yeah. The water. Yeah, see, he, he got thoughts of good for us. You know what I'm saying? He said it. So, but are we going to, you know what I'm saying, run this race and obtain it? And that's the thing about it. a lot of people in the earth, Israelites, they just, you know, bow down to the Babylonian system. They take the mark of the beast. What is that? The philosophies, you know, of the white man. Mm. I can get deeper into that, but I'm not going to go there today. <laughs> right. You see what I'm saying? Go ahead. It goes down to uh, 59. Now. Okay. Um, yeah. So I, I want to reiterate on this part. We're talking about this battle. This battle and the different obstacles that we deal with. See, here's the thing. Living here in um, our captivity, because mm -hmm. in case, contrary to popular belief, we are not free. Right. You see what I'm saying? Right. Don't believe the hype. Don't get gassed up by the goddamn devil. You're not free. Mm -hmm. Shoot, every every month when you go to your mailbox and you see them bills, you tell me you're free? <laughs> you feel me? You go to that gas pump, you're free? When all that goddamn oil over there in the Middle East is our oil, really? 
You see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. That whole that little landmass that they say is Israel, that's not just our land. It expands all down in Saudi Arabia and where are all they getting all that oil. That's our land. Mm -hmm. We paying for our own shit, Slovakia. You see what I'm saying? <laughs> right. Man. And that's the thing about it. Being a soldier in hell. You got to endure, man. Like we read earlier, it said that the Lord is a man of war. Mm -hmm. You feel what I'm saying? And you got to be, you know what I'm saying, a man of war. Matter of fact, let me get that in 2 Timothy chapter 2 and start at verse 3. 2 Timothy chapter 2 and start at verse 3. See, they see us out, you know, in our war, our glorious war like apparel, you know, and they be hating. Talking about, that's just like um, in Indianapolis, Captain Kapash was holding a camp up there and uh, that rapper, Waka Flocka Plane, right, right, came yeah, up yeah. to the camp and told him he was too, the camp told the camp people, everybody in the camp, that they was too damn militant. Mm. You see what I'm saying? Now, this dude then talked about probably all kind of stuff, killing, right, stealing, right, right. And destroying, you know what I'm saying? Being of, you know, your father the devil, that's what you're going to talk about. Because mm -hmm. if you ain't in this truth, you're following the devil. You're following one or the other. Right. Too damn militant. You see what I'm saying? But it's a war out here. It's just like the brother got that song, it's a war outside. You know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? It's a goddamn war outside. You walk out the door, you're going to smell a uh, barbecue, ribs. You're going to have to fight that temptation. Right. White girl wink at you. You know what I'm saying? You're going to have to fight that. You see what I'm saying? Uh, the goddamn devil trying to lure you. You know what I'm saying? Hey, come on in here. Hey, you look like a guy, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> trying to get you to, you know, do whatever he, right. he want you to do for him. You got to fight that, man. And the scriptures say, you know what I'm saying? We about to go into the, what the scriptures say as mm -hmm. far as what, how Christ wants us to conduct ourselves. Mm -hmm. Go ahead and read that scripture you got. Second Timothy. Chapter 2, verse 3. Thou, therefore, endure hardness. Therefore, endure hardness. You know what I'm saying? Not, not you know, be some limp wrist, you know what I'm saying? Purple right. shirt wearing dude. You know what I'm saying? Right. What do it say? So read that again. Thou, therefore, endure hardness. Endure hardness. You know what I'm saying? So when you see the men of the ISUPK, you see hardness, man. Because the scriptures tell us to endure hardness. Mm -hmm. Not be some damn coward. This is the ISUPK. No cowards. God damn it. Right. Go ahead. As a good soldier. As a good what? Soldier. Man, as a soldier. If you could, look up the definition of soldier. Right. See, here's the thing. You got, this is like I was looking on social media. You got these guys, these rogue Israelites trying to, you know, take the scriptures and go out on the street and teach. But they don't know what the hell they're doing. They're not authorized by the Most High under Commanding General Yohanna to teach no goddamn Salaki, no scriptures. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Now, that's the holy word, Salaki. They're not authorized. You see, there's no order. They are not with the body. Mm -hmm. The Israelite School of Universal Practical Knowledge under Commanding General Yohanna is the one and only body of Christ here on earth because there's order. We're raising up an army, a nation. Mm -hmm. And that's the thing about it. If you want to get involved with this, you know, helping this army, why don't you support? You might not want to get out there, you know, on the podium and say the, you know, the things that we got to say. You might, you know, you might be a little timid. You might not have the courage. Let's mm -hmm. just keep it real. Mm -hmm. So why don't you support the men by uh, giving a donation? You see what I'm saying? Support your troops. We're out there for you. We're out there for blacks, Hispanics, and Native Indians. And the way you can do that is if you go to www.isupk.com. Mm -hmm. That is www.isupk.com. And um, there's a link where you can uh, use your card, make a donation, man. You see what I'm saying? Support the soldiers of the Lord. You see what I'm saying? Let me get the definition of soldier. Definition of a soldier. 
A person who serves in an army. A person who serves in an army. So that cuts all those fake camps out there and the Christian church and the Muslim mosque because they don't have an army. When you see the ISUPK, you see what I'm saying? You see an army. You see us in our glorious warlike apparel. You feel what I'm saying? Read the synonyms. Go ahead. A fighter. A fighter. A trooper. A trooper. A serviceman. A serviceman. A warrior. A warrior. A goddamn warrior. You see what I'm saying? When you see them cats, you know what I'm saying, in them purple shirts, you don't see no warrior. Right. You see a homosexual, man. <laughs> right. You see what I'm saying? You see a homosexual wearing a purple night shirt. The men in the ISUPK and the commander in general, your Highness, you know what I'm saying? If we had to, we throw these things, mm -hmm. goddammit. Mm -hmm. But see, our mission is to slay these scriptures. You see what I'm saying? We strapped with these scriptures, being a soldier in hell. You feel what I'm saying? Damn right. So if you could, go back to 2 Timothy chapter 2 and verse 3. We're going to read that again with Christ, with Yahweh Shine in the Hebrew. You know what I'm saying? Expect blacks, Hispanic, and native Indian men to be. Verse 3. Verse 3. 2 Timothy chapter 2, verse 3. Okay, 2 Timothy chapter 2, verse 3. Thou therefore endure hardness as a good soldier of Jesus Christ. Right, as a good soldier of Jesus Christ, Yahweh Shah. Yahweh Shah. Mashiach in the Hebrew. You see what I'm saying? So, um, the Christian church expect you to, you know, wear a suit and talk all soft and, you know what I'm saying? This is your Bible. Hold it up. <laughs> Say what's in it you can have. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Hell no. That's a homosexual. We don't do all that here. Not over this camp. Right. We endure hardness. You know what I'm saying? Being a good soldier for Christ. Because we in hell. It's a war out there. This is a war zone, man. Yeah, it's full of yeah. landmines. Or should I say uh, landmines in your mind. You see what I'm saying? You got to step over them. You know what I'm saying? You got to step over uh, a, a trap. Black lives matter. You know what I'm saying? No, nah, don't step on that because that's just going to get you hemmed up. You see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. um, homosexuality. You know what I'm saying? Oh, I got to walk around homosexuality. Right. The Christian church. Oh, let me step around the Christian church. They just want my money. You see what I'm saying? They want me to worship a uh, buttermilk biscuit, white boy Jesus. You know what I'm saying? We, we navigating through the damn deadly landmines in this um, Babylon. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Being a soldier in hell. That's what we got to do. And the only way you are going to be able to do that is in the Israelite School of Universal Practical Knowledge under Commanding General Yahan. Uh. With that said, I'm going to take a little intermission. I want to remind everyone out there watching this Facebook stream that we have the Black Expo here this week in Indianapolis, Indiana, hosted by Captain Kapash. You know what I'm saying? Strong man in the truth. Make it up there. It's going to be July 19th through the 22nd. You see what I'm saying? We're going to have camp, you know what I'm saying? Weather permitting. We're going to have a panel discussion, which I just found out I'm going to be moderating that if um, all things, um, you know, as far as I know, so I'm going to be moderating the uh, panel discussion with Com Commander General Yohanna. You see what right, I'm saying? That's right. what's up. You right. see what I'm saying? Because it's going to talk about the state of affairs with black folks. I think there's going to be a couple of Christian pastors and a um, Muslim um, teacher mm -hmm. along with Commander General Yohanna. Mm -hmm. See, the truth is going to prevail. And Commander General Yohanna has the truth. You see what I'm saying? And that's all I got to say about it. So it would behoove you to make it out there for that. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? It's going to be the um, Black Expo. It's going to be a lot of you know, different expeditions, I guess, in, in the um, convention center. Mm -hmm. And we're going to have a booth set up, the Israelite School of Universal Practical Knowledge, where you can get information. They might even be selling some you know, items out there. So make it out there. You see what I'm saying? The barbecue. And the ISUPK bar, you know what I'm saying? It's going to be some you know, good food, you know, chop it up with the Akium, you know right. what I'm saying? Sisters come through, 
Gonna be some drink on deck. Hey, I'm about to have a drink right now. You feel me? <laughs> <laughs> and that's what's up. So, once again, in Indianapolis, Indiana, July 19th through the 22nd, gonna be the Black Expo. You know what I'm saying? Hosted by Captain Kapaj and the Naptown Camp. I'm gonna be there and just make it out there. And if you can't make it out there, there's a GoFundMe on Facebook for the um, Naptown the Indianapolis Black Expo. Donate, man. Donate $10, $5. Just take your card. You know what I'm saying? You, you use your card to pay for gas and everything else. Hey, we all chip in a little bit and do a lot. Mm -hmm. And with that said, let's get back on topic. The name of this class is called Being a Soldier in Hell. You understand me? <laughs> you see what I'm saying? Because that's the thing about it. A lot of, you know, our youth, a lot of black men, they have no direction. And they are in a losing battle without these laws, statutes, and commandments of the Most High. And the only place they are going to learn how to properly live up to these standards is in the Israelite School of Universal Practical Knowledge under Commander General Yohanan. You understand me? Mm -hmm. So... We are here trying to be of service to you. You see what I'm saying? We are here to edify you, to give you knowledge, and show you how to implement the knowledge according to the scriptures, giving you wisdom so that you can succeed as best you can in this captivity. Mm -hmm. See, we got the battle plan. We got the battle plan. And it's up to you, Salakium, to want to be involved, you see what I'm saying, in the success of your nation. So, if you could, now, in a battle, we was talking about, um, when we read earlier, talking about the battle that man, I'm paraphrasing, about the battle that man has to fight mm -hmm. in life. You see what I'm saying? We gotta understand, well, what are we fighting? Is it just, is it just evil? Is it just sin? Mm -hmm. See, that's what the Christian church likes to say they like to say well there's a spiritual being which in some respect yes but you got to understand that spiritual being is under the uh, um is under the most high you see what i'm saying and um the physical counterpart is the nation of edom mm. the white man mm. you see what i'm saying he's lucifer you feel what i'm saying we could go in the book of isaiah but for the sake of time, we're going to go to the book of Deuteronomy, right. chapter 28 and verse 68, because I want this to be real to you. I want this to be up front in your face. If you can't see that you have an enemy on earth, you are like the ostrich that sticks his head in the hole in the ground. <laughs> you don't want to see. It. You see black men getting shot by the police right. on the news. You know what I'm saying? Black women getting beat up, you know what I'm saying, in the Korean nail shop, in the Chinese uh, chicken joint. I don't know why the hell they won't stay out them goddamn uh, um, foreign, you know what I'm saying, eateries. Right, right. Hell, y'all know how to cook. A lot of black women know how to cook. Start your own business. Shit, you, start, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> right. Shoot, make some, make some fried chicken out your kitchen. Shoot, you gotta let, you know what I'm saying, everybody know your business, you right. know what I'm saying? You just get it in. Right. Shoot, I come to where hook <laughs> me up with a two piece and a biscuit out of this mug. You know what I'm saying? You feel me? Right. You got that scripture for me? God. Deuteronomy 28, verse 68. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships. Okay, this is a prophecy. Let me give you the backdrop. This is Moses talking to the children of Israel in the wilderness. And basically, he was giving them a prophecy, telling them, y'all wicked. Mm -hmm. And the Lord is going to bring y'all, I'm paraphrasing, into Egypt, which means bondage, again, with ships. It was going to be a unique way, rather than um, us walking into the land mass of Egypt, we was going to go into Egypt, which means bondage, with ships. Now, if you know anything about history, blacks... His, you know, blacks were, um, and Hispanics, you know what I'm saying, 
were the only people on planet Earth to go through that ordeal. You see what I'm saying? Nobody else. Now, there's somebody out there that's going to say, well, the Irish, the Irish, we we we're, we're, you know, we went through that. They they didn't, they wasn't hung from trees and burnt and had uh, ropes tied to each limb. Right. And with horses attached to the rope, they hit the horse that way, hit the horse that way, and it ripped mm -hmm. the person in half. You see what I'm saying? They children, they babies wasn't used as alligator bait. Mm -hmm. They wasn't in human zoos. You see what I'm saying? Right. We was. You see what I'm saying? They don't fit the curses in Deuteronomy 28. Mm. You see what I'm saying? So what we're establishing, finish reading that. By the way, whereof I spake unto thee, thou shalt see it no more again. Okay, thou shalt see it no more again. Okay, during the Roman persecution in Jerusalem, black people fled into Africa, the west coast of Africa mm -hmm. in particular to hide out, to blend in with the dark races. You see what I'm saying? And um, this prophecy was gonna, is telling us that we wouldn't see our homeland again, you know what I'm saying, until Christ, you know what I'm saying, restore all mm -hmm. things. Go ahead. And there you shall be sold unto your enemies. Okay, there, which is here in mm -hmm. Babylon, here in America, who was black people sold to? Mm. Who's we sold to? Mm, mm, mm. That's your enemies. So read that again. <laughs> there. And there ye shall be sold unto your enemies. No, unto your friends. To your enemies. Unto your enemies. Now, the Christian church like to say, Jesus Christ is the same yesterday, today, and forever. Right, right, you see what I'm saying? Right. Well, if he's the word. What's the word saying? Right. What's it saying? Read that again. And there you shall be sold unto your enemies. You shall be sold unto your enemies. So if that's yesterday, today, and forever, who's your enemy yesterday? Who's your enemy today? Mm, mm -mm. It's the people that you were sold to, who is the nation of Edom, according to the Bible, that came from the lineage of Esau, a red and hairy person in Genesis chapter 25 and verse 25. Mm -hmm. Now, if you look on the earth today, who is red and hairy? so-called white people mm -hmm. and according to the scriptures they are your enemies and the scriptures also said that we was going to be in a battle so in the battle who do you think your enemy is right you see what i'm saying right. now i challenge anyone out there watching the stream to you know what i'm saying do a word search in the king james version of the bible and look up the word edom and everywhere you see that um scripture pertaining to Edom, you're going to see where the Most High hates these people. Mm -hmm. So how can all people be saved if they just plead the blood of, you know what I'm saying, white Jesus. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying, good old white Jesus, you're going to be saved. Mm -hmm. That's a goddamn lie. They're going in the goddamn chains, and they're going to serve their time, and they're going to serve our time. You understand me? Right. <laughs> Talking about 12 hours in the cotton field, mm -hmm. picking my potatoes, you feel what I'm saying? Chopping wood. Mm. No sunscreen. No. <laughs> you know, I, might, I might sell them some sunscreen. You know what I'm saying? I might have them make some sunscreen to sell it to other goddamn Edomites. You feel what I'm saying? <laughs> but yeah, they got a judgment. You know what I'm saying? They got a judgment in the Bible. And you can read about that in Revelation chapter 13 and 9. For the sake of time, we're not going to go there. So, if also a characteristic of your goddamn enemy, go to Psalms chapter 55 and verse 21, Psalms chapter 55 and verse 21, because see, here's the thing, this, especially a lot of our um, women, they can't understand that we have an enemy on the earth until they son get killed, until they brother get killed, they uncle, or they boyfriend, or husband, whoever, by this goddamn ravenous beast. The white man, you understand me? Because he has a characteristic of talking well. Hey, Lucretia, thanks for coming in. Right. Oh, I'm so glad you made it in. I, I really didn't know if you were going to make it. You're going to do fine in this position. Mm -hmm. You see what I'm saying? 
if if the devil is very sly and sneaky and he talks with a very alluring voice you see what i'm saying yeah yeah and <laughs> you know what I'm saying? he talks very smooth and we're about to bring that out in the scriptures all right psalms 55 verse 21 the words of his mouth were smoother than butter the words of his mouth were smoother than butter man isn't that the white man mm. he talk all that good talk you know what i'm saying he tell you he gonna help you you know oh i'm not gonna do that matter of fact um i seen something on social media where two um white cops were beating on a teenage black boy right mm. and the, the the black woman she had her camera phone and she was you know recording it and i think what happened was they the cops told her well if they if she stopped recording you know what i'm saying they would they wouldn't arrest her son oh wow well. but they went ahead and arrested him anyway mm -hmm. you see what i'm saying right. took her camera footage and arrested him anyway see that's the devil that's the white man you see what i'm saying he reneges you ask the um the native indians <laughs> broke all the treaties <laughs> all the treaties <laughs> with him you see what i'm saying and i can't believe that you know they you know you got some uncle tom uncle tomahawks you know what i'm saying <laughs> that still uh um trust you know what i'm saying in this goddamn white man you know think that they can speak before him and he's gonna give them rights on the reservation and shit don't trust him he's the goddamn devil that the bible speak of you understand me and the men of the ISUPK and the commanding general, Yohanna, we are the only men on planet Earth that's strong enough to tell our people that, God damn it. Yeah. You understand me? Right. Yeah, so this goddamn um, devil, his words are smoother than butter. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. But war was in his heart. But what was in his heart? War. No, nah, love is in his heart. War. Put a little love in your heart. <laughs> what the scriptures say? But war was in his heart. But war was in his heart. So when the scriptures talk about that blacks, Hispanics, and Native Indians have to battle, and you got another entity that got war in his heart, mm -hmm. who do you think you got to battle? So you got to go hard at this goddamn devil. Now, I'm not saying, you know what I'm saying, take up arms and, you know what I'm saying, what, what's good? You know, we're not right, doing right. that. Not, you know what I'm saying? That's going to be a time for all things. Right now, this is spiritual warfare. You understand me? Mm -hmm. You see what I'm saying? We we strapped with these scriptures. You see what I'm saying? In the ISUPK and the commanding general, Yana, we peaceful. You feel what I'm saying? We follow the laws, statutes, and commandments. You know what I'm saying? The laws of the land, you know, as long as they don't go against these laws, statutes, and commandments. See, the law of the land tell you, you know, it's okay to be a homosexual. Well, I'm not going to be no goddamn homosexual, <laughs> right. you know what I'm saying? Because that will be, you know, going against my, you know, my God, the most high, mm -hmm. my power. You feel what I'm saying? So I'm not doing that. Mm -hmm. And there's a lot of uh, fake Israelites out there. But well, you have to follow the laws of the land. Mm -hmm. So I guess you suck rise. You know what I'm saying? Because <laughs> you follow the laws of the land. Right, right. Nah, cut all that. Let me see. Any more on that? Mm -hmm. His words were softened than oil. Softer than oil? Yeah, we're... Were they drawn swords? Yep, were they drawn swords? You see what I'm saying? Isn't that just like, uh, you know, it's just like, <laughs> you know, that, that summit between uh, Trump and Putin. You see what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. See, they, they, they talk in a, isn't it? I got this from Officer Tarak. Mm -hmm. They talk, I think, he, I'm just paraphrasing, he was telling me like the way the Edomite talk, they talk with an a, a unknown, a own, slocky, unknown tongue. Right. Meaning they double talk. You see what I'm saying? When they talk about, you know, having peace and stuff, in order for them to have peace, they have to oppress the Israelites. Uh -huh. You see what I'm saying? Because them, all them nations on the earth, outside of blacks, Hispanics, and native Indians, uh -huh. they all was confederate against us. Right. You see what I'm saying? So if they desire peace, in order for them to get peace, uh -huh. we have to be oppressed. Wow. You see what I'm saying? Right. And that's what a lot of, uh, you know, simple people out there don't understand. They mm. need to get into the classes. Right. And if you're in Louisville, Kentucky, you need to come to 301 York Street, Meeting Room 1. You understand me? 301 
York Street, meeting room one, Tuesday nights from 6 p.m. to 8 p.m. You understand me? ISUPK Louisville class. Mm -hmm. You need to get into the classes and learn the word of the Most High. Are you going to be out there? You're going to be a sitting duck. You see what I'm saying? You're going to be out there at night walking around. You know what I'm saying? White folk neighborhood. Damn rednecks going to come through in a pickup truck and a bat, mm -hmm. drunk. Like, like said, goddamn nigga right there. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> what you think about that, Billy Joe? Right, right. We just like old times. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And they coming for you. Right. You understand me? So that's why you need to be with your people. You need to be a soldier. Being a soldier in hell ain't easy. Mm -hmm. You can't be no lone wolf Israelite out here. To be a soldier, you have to be in an army, mm -hmm. in rank and order. And then the ISUPK and the Commander General Yohanna, we in rank and order. You see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. We raising up a nation. And the thing is, is um, a lot of brothers, they want to try to do it on their own. They want to, you know what I'm saying? Well, I just, you know, and that's cool. You know what I'm saying? You can be a brother, you know, civilian, but support your brothers that's out there on the front line. You see what I'm saying? That's on the podium. That's blazing on the mic. You know what I'm saying? That's just like here in Louisville, Kentucky, when we had camp here. You know what I'm saying? What that woman tell us? I'm going to go and get some niggas to come back here and shoot y'all in yeah, the face. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We get death threats, you know what I'm saying, all the time. Let's go to police on people. Right. Calling the police on them, you know what I'm saying, snitching. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Now, think the most high, the most high is with us. You see what I'm saying? But the thing is, if you a brother out there, yeah, it's 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 you gotta do more than just know you're Israelite. You gotta live by the laws, statutes, and commandments. And the only way you are gonna fully grasp the laws, statutes, and commandments of the Most High is if you are taught by the priests and prophets in the ISUPK under Commanding General Yohanna. You understand me? So. Like I was saying, the name of this class is called being a soldier in hell. Hell is a condition. You understand me? And it's like, you know what I'm saying? For the sake of uh, time, I'm going to explain this like on a, um, a three front, you know what I'm saying? Attack, right? Or battle. Now, the first one is going to be, we talk about your enemy. Who is your enemy? You know, the nation of Edom. Mm -hmm. White man, he's your enemy. But here's the thing. He has agents. You see what I'm saying? And the first agent that everybody that's black, Hispanic, and Native Indian should be aware of, or if they're not, is the goddamn police force, right? Mm -hmm. So if you could, let me get Zechariah chapter 11 and verse 5. Zechariah chapter 11 and verse 5. Because see, here's the thing. We get shot up by the police. You see what I'm saying? And we've been told that, hey, the police is your friend. If you get in trouble, call the police. Mm -hmm. Man, the hell with that, man. You call the That's just like, you know what I'm saying? A lot of black women like, you know what I'm saying, to get on that phone just because they man came in, you know, five minutes late. You know what I'm saying? They get upset. They call the police on that man. Mm -hmm. Want to start an argument and a fight. Damn, you know, liable to get that man killed. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. They doubt white supremacy. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know, they doubt a damn white supremacy. Right, right, right. And then magically, there's three damn white men with guns at your door. Mm -hmm. Talking about, sir, can you come out and talk to us, please? Sir, what? can I see your hand, sir? Put, put your hand. You know what I'm saying? Right. Hey, man, I'm just, yo, you know, I'm just smoking. You know, I'm just right. saying, brother in the world, he might not be in the truth. He's smoking a cigarette. Right. Uh, he had something in his hand. He had something in his hand, and I thought it was a gun. Right. You know what I'm saying? The white man is the goddamn devil the Bible speak of. You know what I'm saying? Let me get that scripture. Zechariah, chapter 11, verse 5. Whose possessors slay them. Whose possessors slay them. Now, we was brought over here in cargo slave ships by white people. Mm -hmm. And now that we're over here, 
We, you know what I'm saying, they are our possessors because we broke the law, statutes, and commandments of the Most High. And, and isn't that what happened? We get slain in these streets, man. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Bleeding and bloody. And here's another thing. The black man, his experience in America has been starkly different from the black woman. And the thing is, is sometimes, you know, sisters don't understand that because see, they, a lot of our sisters, not all, they have become traitors, you see what I'm saying, to um, black men. So when you call the police on that black man, it's just like, you know what I'm saying, you signing his death certificate. You see what I'm saying? Mm. I, I, you don't understand that. and Well, actually, they do understand it. Right. They use that as a card in their deck. Right. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That's something that they use to try to usurp authority over a man, right. which is a sin according to the Bible. Right. And that's what, like I said, you know, I hate to say it, but that's why a lot of these black women are getting shot up, you know what I'm saying, in these streets. Terrible things are happening to them. You need to repent. If you out there being a wicked bitch, you know what I'm saying? You think you can uh, uh, try to have leverage by calling the police on a black man? Think again. Uh. You see, and the Most High is bringing judgment on a lot of you wicked bitches. And I'm just here to tell you, you know what I'm saying, so you can repent. You uh -huh. know what I'm saying? To give you an opportunity to uh, think about that. And if you don't know how to deal with your man, then contact the head of, of an ISUPK a uh, school nearest you, and we'll give you counsel. Right. You see what I'm saying? According to the scriptures. Right. Not what we say. We'll go into these scriptures and tell you how to best handle that situation. Is it your man or is it you? Right. You know what I'm saying? Because, see, you trying to call the police, you know what I'm saying? That's not good for the nation. You know what I'm saying? We, we handle our own in-house. That's what we need to start doing as blacks, Hispanics, and Native Indians. We need to start policing our own. Right. Read that scripture again. Whose possessors slay them. Whose possessors slay them. Man, that's just like, um, you know what I'm saying, Eric Garner, right? Mm -hmm. They choked them out. Right. Choked the brother out. The brother in, um, what was that, Ferguson? Mm -hmm. You know, they shot him. You know what I'm saying? That, that's just like, um, it was a couple of years ago. There was a brother that was helping like a special needs person oh, out yeah, in the street. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You remember that? Right. You know what I'm saying? He was out there trying to talk to him and just calm him down. This man had his hands up. He didn't have no weapon or nothing. Kill. Police just, well, they, I don't know if they kill him, but they shot him. They so shot him. Right. Black man's like, man, what you shoot me for? Police like, oh, I don't know. You right. know what I'm saying? No. Just shooting black men for no apparent reason. You see what I'm saying? Whose possessors slay them. And when they slay us, what happens? They get a paid vacation called administrative leave. You see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. The white man's the devil, the Bible speaks of. And what does devil mean? It means deceiver. Right. You see what I'm saying? They want to sit there and say, uh, we're going to make America great again. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> we're going to you know, get jobs for everyone. <laughs> A lot of brothers out here still waiting on that job. Right. You know what I'm saying? We got to hustle and, you know, grind and stuff just to make it in hell. Being a soldier in hell, enduring hardness, like Christ said. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Any more on that? Yeah. Go uh, ahead. They're saying they hold themselves not guilty. They hold themselves not just guilty, it. like I said. Right. You know what I'm saying? They, um, what happens? A lot of times they end up charging the police officer with murder. Now, murder is a, like, when you look up statues and you look up the elements of a crime, oftentimes murder is premeditated, right? Mm -hmm. So they're going to have to say, well, the police woke up in the morning and he, you know what I'm saying, he, he premeditated, he, um, what's the word I'm trying to use? That he, um, he, he got up in the morning and he was trying to kill this person on purpose. You know what I'm saying? Mm. He thought to do that. I done had a couple, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> a little something, something right here. That's premeditated, though. It? It's premeditated. I like to use some other words you know, oh, in, my, okay. in my vocabulary repertoire if I could. <laughs> right. 
But yeah, and that often, you know, won't fit the bill. They charge him with manslaughter. Mm -hmm. Charge him with manslaughter. At least he'll get some time. You know what I'm saying? He uh, acted recklessly. You see what I'm saying? Rather than, um, I think there's different uh, mind states like wanting, knowing, recklessly, something else. You know what I'm saying? I haven't looked in it. I I looked through the statues before, you know what I'm saying? And it's very interesting to see, you know what I'm saying, um, the white man's laws. You know what I'm saying? They are written, you know, to benefit him Mm. and to hurt you. If you are black, Hispanic, and Native Indian man. Mm-hmm. But yeah, they hold themselves not guilty. They um, go through like a little um, administrative. They like they send them on administrative leave. And what ended up happening? Uh, he was found not guilty. not guilty. You see what I'm saying? And a person's life. Think about that. Mm-hmm. A person's life. You know what I'm saying? Is gone. While they still out here, you know what I'm saying? Um, having sex, mm-hmm. eating good food, mm-hmm. you know, watching movies, living it up, wearing nice clothes, they in jet skis, mm-hmm. brother in the ground, mama crying, you see what I'm saying, sister crying, um, son don't get to know his father, right. daughter don't get to know her father, you know what I'm saying, because they hold themselves not guilty. Any more on that? Uh, Go ahead if you could. And they that sell them say, blessed be the Lord. (laughs) And this is going back to Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 68. They that sell them say, what? Blessed be the Lord. Blessed be the Lord. You see what I'm saying? That's just like them Christians. A lot of them Catholic people, them white Christians and Mm -hmm. Catholic people. uh, They, it's a scripture in the, um, that say, um, they that kill you, Think they do God a service or something? I'm, I'm paraphrasing. Think they doing God's will. Yeah, something like right, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They do God's will, and that's the thing about it. In their mind, you're a sinful agent of Satan, and they just <laughs> have to, you know, destroy evil. Mm-hmm. That's how they look at you, right. according to their um, ideology and that dangerous Christian doctrine. Mm-hmm. You see what I'm saying? That's why we have to uh, inform our people to get out of that Christian church. You know what I'm saying? If you black, Hispanic, or native Indian, a man, woman, or child, you need to come out of the Christian church and get into the ISUPK under Commanding General Yohana. And if you want to know more about what we do, you can go to our website. That's www.isupk.com. That's www.isupk.com. And find out what we do. Mm -hmm. You see what I'm saying? We teach the true, unadulterated, Word of the Most High. You see what I'm saying? And we teach our people to live by it. If you black, Hispanic, and native Indian, go to that website. Call the number. You see what I'm saying? We got classes on YouTube. You see us on Facebook. You see what I'm saying? Find out what we do. Don't judge us based on, you know what I'm saying, what you heard somebody else say about us. You see what I'm saying? We might come off aggressive, but we have to be aggressive. Because we're in a war out here. We're being a soldier in hell. God damn it. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And we strapped with these scriptures. Right. You feel what I'm saying? Being a soldier in hell. We got more else on that. God. And they that sell them say, Blessed be the Lord, for I am rich. Hmm. And their own shepherds pity them not. For their own shepherds pity them not. Who claims to be the shepherds of black people? Christian it's church. <laughs> Christian and I'm, I'm, I'm the shepherd of my flock. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? They get the whooping and hollering and all that. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? See, here's the thing. The Christian pastor actually, you know what I'm saying? He do good off of your death. You see what I'm saying? Because he get to preach a, uh, a eulogy. You see what I'm saying? <laughs> he get to right. preach a eulogy. So right. business is big right. for the Christian pastor when black men die. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Him. You know what I'm saying? The undertaker, everybody getting some money off of you. Mm. You know what I'm saying? And um, he's in league with the white man. You understand me? Like I always tell y'all, the Christian church is the lap dog of the white man. You know what I'm saying? That's just like I was talking about, uh, uh, what was that uh, cartoon back in the day? Inspect the Gadget. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> now, it's just like um, 
you know, the white man is like Claw. You remember Claw? He used to sit in that chair in the back, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> you could never see, you know, Claw, but you could always see that cat. The cat is like the, the lap animal, animal, you know what I'm saying, right. of the white man. Right. That's, the, the, you know, I'm just using a little analogy here, you know what I'm saying? All right, Christian church. <laughs> All right. Now, this is what you do. You tell black people that um, Jesus is white. You tell them that God loves everybody and that when they die, they'll go live up in the cloud. You know what I'm saying? But you can't never see what the white man's doing. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like claw in that cartoon. That's right. old school. Some people are like, what the hell are you talking about? Yeah, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Go Google it. You know, it's back to gadget claw. You know right. what I'm saying? You, you, you'll get it. You'll get it. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But um, YouTube it. <laughs> yeah, YouTube it. You know what I'm saying? But um, I'm just here to let y'all know, man. You know what I'm saying? I, you know, we care about our people in the ISUBK. Right. You know what I'm saying? That's why we doing this. You know what I'm saying? Come out to teach the classes or whatever. Um, man, you know, sacrifice our time, our money. It would be a lot easier if our people, our nation would help us. You know what I'm saying? Um, hell, because um, we need things. Hell, I need a get a menorah, chauffeur and different things. Make a donation to this school. Mm -hmm. You know, help get this school here in Louisville, Kentucky off the ground. And the Most High is going to provide anyway, but wouldn't you have a sense of uh, pleasure knowing that you got involved with the, the Most High's army? You can mm -hmm. do that. You see what I'm saying? Yeah, so, um, hey, you want to get involved? Inbox me, you know what I'm saying? And uh, help the priests and the prophets of the ISUPK. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but Going back to tonight's topic, being a soldier in hell. You see what I'm saying? Hell is a condition here on earth, like I said. You know what I'm saying? There's so many different fronts you have to overcome, you know what I'm saying? Your health. You know what I'm saying? The white man, the devil, you know what I'm saying? He's selling so many bad foods, GMO foods, you know what I'm saying? Spraying fruits and vegetables with pesticides. Mm -hmm. You see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. All these processed foods, you know what I'm saying? And they... You mix this food with this food, and now you got different binary poisonings and stuff like that. You know what right. I'm saying? Before you know it, you done poisoned yourself. You see what I'm saying? Because you, it's just like a chemical reaction. He's the devil. And we're trying to bring it out to our people so they can be vigilant. You see what I'm saying? Right. Be watchful. Watch and pray. Ain't that what the scriptures mm -hmm. say? I'm paraphrasing. You know what I'm saying? And um, you need to know that you got an enemy and every day is a battle. You know what I'm saying? And think about the black man. You know, they done hit us with every goddamn thing. You know what I'm saying? Like you know, it'll been some days where black men, you know what I'm saying? Especially, that's why this truth is so important because, you know, this is what we anchor our hope on. You see mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Yahweh shot. He's coming back. Look at the signs of the times. You know what I'm saying? Wars. Rumors of wars. Right. You see what I'm right. saying? You see all on the on the big scale, you see the nations, the puzzles coming together, you know, with the different um leaders in these nations, like Trump and Putin. Uh -huh. You see what I'm saying? Uh May God, God, you know what I'm saying? Uh -huh. Um North Korea. The stage is being set. You see what I'm saying? For Yahweh shall to come back. That's just like Trump and his space force. What the hell he need a space force for? Mm. Maybe they seen something out in space. And that's just like um, the Vatican got a, a big telescope. You ever heard of this? It's called um, Lucifer. Oh, wow. They got a big telescope called Lucifer on this mountain. And I got to get the, um, the references, you know, to... Uh, Validate what I'm saying. Mm -hmm. I got I got some books, but um, yeah, they they didn't see something out there. It's I think it's the most powerful telescope in the world. Mm -hmm. Look at look it up. It's called um, the Vatican has a telescope called uh, Lucifer, or Project Lucifer, or something like that. It's yeah, a big telescope. Oh yeah, yeah. Why the hell they call it Lucifer? Mm. Lucifer the white man. <laughs> they oh, didn't yeah. see something out there. You know what I'm saying? And they ain't saying. Right. They preparing. They think they're going to come up against uh, Christ. Mm -hmm. Every alien movie you've seen, you know what I'm saying? They done made it like the aliens are the bad guys. Right. Nah. The so-called aliens here 
are what we term as the angels. They the good guys coming to coming on the behalf of Christ to deliver blacks, Hispanics, and Native Indians, man. Mm -hmm. You see what I'm saying? So don't believe the hype. Mm. You see what I'm saying? It gets deep. It's mm. a lot of deep stuff in this truth. That's why you need to stay connected with the men of the Israelite School of Universal and Practical Knowledge. And speaking of staying connected, I need to connect myself with a, you know what I'm saying, a little something. Intimacy. Be right back. It's a lot. Yeah, but the white man is the devil. And the men of the ISUPK, we, uh, you know what I'm saying, we tell it like it is, man. Mm -hmm. And the thing is, we got to be soldiers out here. They see us in our glorious warlike apparel. They want to, you know, hate on us because we're not in some goddamn purple night shirt. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> With some shoestrings at the bottom or whatever. You know what I'm saying? Hey, them brothers, they need to repent, humble themselves, getting all black, and do it right. Coming to the one true body of Christ. Which is the ISUPK and the Commander General Yahana. Cheers, man. What's <laughs> like? <laughs> uh, hey, we like having fun here in the ISUPK. Look, you know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? Go get you an adult beverage, chop it up with us. You know what I'm saying? Learn something, edify yourself. Right. That's why we're here. You know what I'm saying? And I want to thank everybody out there that's watching the stream because I'm asking you for an hour. I wouldn't have two hours of your time. You could be doing something else, you know, rather than, um, you know, doing something else, watching cable TV, you know, the, the basketball whores or whatever be on, on there, you know, so where they fight and drink and you spending your time learning the word of the most high. Right. And I do appreciate your time. And it's going to benefit you because you are going to be armed with the blueprint to fight and be a soldier mm -hmm. in hell. You understand me? So here's, like I was talking about, this uh, three front attack. We talked about the enemy, who's the white man. We talked about his police force. But here is another deceptive a, a battle that we have to, uh, we have to uh, go through. That's the battle on the home front. Now, who's in your home, black man? Mm. Who's an agent of the goddamn devil? Now, Eve was deceived in the garden. Every day here in Babylon, your woman go to work in corporate America. She's not around you. She's getting instructions. From who? Mm. That's just like I brought out. They'll go to college and the goddamn devil will put a whole bunch of books in front of them and tell them, you gotta read all these books and study them. And that's gonna be a test you know what I'm saying? At the end of the semester. You know what I'm saying? Black man, like I said in the class before, you bring your woman about eight cookbooks. Here you go, baby. There's some chicken and dumplings in here. Mm. I need you to learn how to cook them because mm. that's what I like. There's some biscuits. Mm. You know what I'm saying? I need you to learn how to cook that meatloaf and all that mm. stuff like that. You know what they going to tell you? Nigga, please. You know what I'm saying? You better get your mama to cook it. You know, uh, something like that. Yeah, yeah, you yeah. see what I'm saying? Because, see, here's the thing. I don't know if you, anyone of you out there know about the Willie Lynch letter, right? See, mm -hmm. in slavery, some people discount it, but whether you say it's legitimate or not, the way that that plan was set up, we're definitely living that today. You see what I'm saying? That's where the white man, he reversed the roles. You know what I'm saying? He broke the black man in slavery in front of the black woman and the black woman lost confidence in the black man. Isn't that what he do today? Mm. You see what I'm saying? He breaks us by oppressing us. You see what I'm saying? Not when we try to get a business started or industry, what happens? You know what I'm saying? They shut it down. Mm -hmm. You see what I'm saying? They interfere with it. That's just like uh, the, the numbers back in the day. That was... Today, what is known as the lottery. Right. Black people had the numbers game sold up. You right. know what I'm saying? The white man, he, you know what I'm saying? He came in and took that over. You right. see what I'm saying? Right. All kind of stuff. He breaks us down in front of our woman. Therefore, our women don't have respect for us. 
You mm-hmm. see what I'm saying? Because you know, women are carnal anyway. You know what I'm saying? They look at um, you know, what's now, what's right now, mm-hmm. most of them. You know what I'm saying? They don't know about uh, history and the scriptures and all that, so they just looking at where the party at. You know what I'm saying? I want to enjoy. I want to have fun. Life's all about having fun. You only live once. Right. You know, all that. Right. YOLO and all that old stuff like that. Mm-hmm. Not understanding that this is a battleground mm-hmm. here in this life. You see what I'm saying? So, the thing is, is um, matter of fact, if you could, get me Ecclesiastes chapter, not Salakia, Ecclesiasticus. Okay. Chapter 25 and 19, because see, your woman is an agent of the devil. You see what I'm saying? She, it's just like John 8 and 44, ye are of your father, the devil. Most black people, slocky, <laughs> not most black people, most black women here in Babylon follow the ideologies of the white man. You see what I'm saying? That's why the hell, um, she got all the resources from the government. You know, mm-hmm. She can get you know, a house payment, food stamp, mm-hmm. Section 8, WIC. She can get child support out of you. You know what I'm saying? If you be foolish enough and impregnate this woman without uh, betting her first, mm-hmm. you see what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And all the other bennies, you know, benefits that she get from the goddamn devil to oppress you. Going back to that Willie Lynch letter, that was the deal that the devil made. You know what I'm saying? He reversed the roles and uh, put her in charge of the male and made her where she raised the men, the men, the males effeminate and the females masculine. Hmm. That's why a lot of times you see uh, black women walking ahead of their man. You know what I'm saying? If they walking somewhere, you see the, you know, I, I mean, it's sad, you know what I'm saying? You All see right. brothers pushing strollers and shit. Back when I was locky, back when I was young, you didn't see that. Right. Woman, you push your own goddamn stroller, you know what right. I'm saying? Right. Hey, come on, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Nowadays, come on, you know, she, she she act like she leading, running something. And that's sinning, because she's trying to observe authority over the man. And that's another thing. Because, see, a lot of times, like I said before in a, in a previous class, when you see that black woman telling you you ain't shit, you ain't a man, what you see is a hologram of the white man standing in your goddamn flow. You know what I'm saying? You see the damn hologram of the white man standing in your flow telling you what the hell he think about you or what he want you to feel. Right. You feel what I'm saying? That's powerful. Man. So let me get that scripture. All right. Ecclesiasticus, chapter 25, verse 19. All wickedness is but little to the wickedness of a woman. All wicked, not some wickedness. All. All wickedness is but what? Little to the wickedness of a woman. But little to the wickedness of a woman. See, black, Hispanic, and native Indian man, I'm not saying that all women are wicked because, you know, there's exceptions. But here in Babylon, here in America, this is a whore society. You see what I'm saying? You got women. That's just like um, I seen something on face, uh, Slocky on Facebook. They had this woman wearing like some kind of bathing suit, and she had this bathing suit, and she had the material going all the way in her vagina. Oh wow! Right, like some somebody made a comment that damn you got damn vagina dental floss. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? In your, you know what I mean? I mean that's just despicable. That's a shameless woman. Shameless. And the shameless woman should be counted as a dog. Mm-hmm. You see what I'm saying? According to the scriptures. Yeah, but all wickedness is but little to the wickedness of a woman. Is that what it's saying? Uh-huh. And that's the thing you got to understand. Um, a lot of time when evil come your way, it's coming through a woman. So you got to see if that woman is in your life, sent from the most high, or she's sent by the devil, mm. who is the nation of Edom, who's a white man. According to scriptures, you see what I'm saying, uh-huh. and um, them black women in the Christian church, in particular, that's just you know I I I just I try to keep my you know what I'm saying, like they say, um, 
ear to the ground. Is that how they say it? You know, when I try to be in the know about a lot of different things as far as current events. And I seen where this girl was twer twerking. Not that I'm watching twerk videos, but people, <laughs> right. I mean, I guess in a sense I did. People post stuff on Facebook and it come across your timeline. You know, mm -hmm. you just happen to see it. Anyhow, see this black girl, she twerking and doing a thing and all that stuff like that. Mm -hmm. What do I notice on her? The Christian cross. Ooh. The Christian cross. That's what they teach in that Christian church. Whoredom. Mm -hmm. You see what I'm saying? And that's why if you're a black man, you need to get your woman out of that Christian church. You see what I'm saying? And if um, she refused, then you, you know what I'm saying? I'll just tell you, go get you another rib. You know what I'm saying? Right. Get you another woman, because that's lawful according to scriptures. I'm not saying put her away, but I will say like this. She going to have to earn your time, and the only way she's going to earn that is if she get, she get in pocket. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? She get in pocket and start doing what the hell you tell her to do. You feel what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And that's what we do in ISUPK, man. We, we don't take no crap, you know what I'm saying, off no woman. You know what I'm saying? No uh, shameless woman, you know what I'm saying? Because, you know, our sisters learn how to be submissive. You see what I'm saying? They learn how to be submissive and do what their man tell them to do. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Because we are trying to obtain perfection by living by the law, statutes, and commandments. You see what I'm saying? But if you're a sister in the world... You know what I'm saying? You're going to buck and rebel against that. Mm -hmm. You're going to be stubborn. You're going to, you know, I, I'd rather um, take the deal of the devil. Right. Be an independent woman. You never hear about the uh, Arab woman talking about she want to be independent. Nah, she she got more sense than that. You know what I'm saying? What's that saying? They'd rather rule in hell than serve in heaven. That, hey, hey, that's well. it. That's it. That's and, and that's the thing about it. And what was that other saying you said before class uh, about the um, this is the only oh uh, it's the only hell hell we ever gonna see and the only heaven they gonna see right that's a good one yeah the water for that yeah because that's the thing about it we are soldiers in hell you see what I'm saying mm -hmm. we in spiritual combat and sometimes even physical combat dealing with uh, these goddamn heathens ma and um. The white man's in heaven. He's here in Louisville, Kentucky tonight. He's eating a steak dinner downtown. You see what I'm saying? He's in heaven. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> right. He's eating his, uh, you know, raw snails and, you know, all <laughs> right. that stuff. You know, his bloody steak and all that stuff like that. He's in heaven like a pig and shit. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. That's heaven. Like I told y'all in the beginning of this class, heaven uh, so hell is a condition. Heaven and hell are conditions. You know what I'm saying? Now, you didn't watch the cartoon when you was young, and you thought, you know what I'm saying, when you died, a halo was going to go on your head. You was going to get wings, and you was going to float up and lay on a, 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 a bed of clouds. Mm -hmm. And that was going to be your heaven for eternity. Meanwhile, you sitting there thinking about that, and the white man's eating your steak. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? That, that's supposed to be your goddamn steak. You see what I'm saying? Because we sent against the most high. We are not able to exercise our authority and, you know, rule the earth. Right. But when Christ comes back, when Yahweh Shah comes back, he's going to make all things right. And all them goddamn heathens are going to have to go and pay us tribute. Uh -huh. They going into goddamn chains, man. Uh -huh. That's just like you go into the 7-Eleven or wherever, you know what I'm saying, the Arab, you know what I'm saying? He treats you like crap. You know, don't want you to hardly be in there. The damn, damn sure damn career. Head up and bite. You know what I'm saying? You be ready to, you know what I'm saying? Get the, get the gat and let them know where it's at. You know, I ain't saying do that, but you know what I'm saying? Right. You know what I'm talking about. Yeah, man, they treat us like crap. But here's, here's the thing about it. They know who we are. All them heathen nations, they are confederate against the children of Israel who are black, Hispanics, and native Indians. Mm -hmm. You see what I'm saying? You don't know who the hell you are if you're watching this stream. And it's more than knowing who you are. You have to do something about it. You have to get with the one body of Christ, which is in the ISUPK, the Israelite School of Universal Practical Knowledge under Commanding General Yahan. You know what I'm saying? Since 1969, I've been dropping this truth heavy. Mm. You see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. 
Now, all these other so-called uh, groups and camps or whatever like that, they took little bits and pieces of the truth and they try to establish their own righteousness. You see what I'm saying? But the thing is, is um, they faltered. They faltered and they became like the Christian church. Because see, here's the thing. At the end of their doctrine, it's either going to be that the white man's not the devil. He can be saved. Or they're going to worship a woman. Mm -hmm. We don't do that. We follow the laws, statutes, and commandments of the Most High in the Israelite School of Universal Practical Knowledge. You see what I'm saying? Yeah, but what I was talking about in this battle, you got to fight a three front attack. Mm -hmm. I mean, really, it's more than that, but I'm just going over three main ones. You got to fight your enemy. You know what I'm saying? Who we established, the nation of Edom, his force, which is the goddamn police. You see what I'm saying? Just like the Roman uh, soldiers right. in the scriptures. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. That came and uh, took Christ. Mm -hmm. You see what I'm saying? And then, just um, like in the scriptures, you got to fight Jezebel. Right. Who, that spirit is in many Christian black women today. Oh, yeah. Matter of fact, if you could, let me go, I think it's in the book of Revelation chapter 2 and verse Somewhere around 20, 20, 20, uh, 20 and 22. The book of Revelation chapter 2 in verse, let me see, 20. Because, because here's the thing, it's like it. This is the last book of the scriptures. And it's talking about this um, mm -hmm. spirit. You see what I'm saying? And a lot of people, you know what I'm saying, fail to address this. But in the Israelite school of universal and practical knowledge, we go in. We go hard. Mm -hmm. You feel what I'm saying? Start at verse 20. Revelation chapter 2 and verse 20. Notwithstanding, I have a few things against thee. Okay. This is Yahweh speaking to John, which the Christian church called mm -hmm. John the Revelator. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. Because thou hast, thou suffers that woman Jezebel. That who? Woman Jezebel. That man. That woman Jezebel. That woman Jezebel. Now, if you read in the book of Kings, I think it's First Kings, mm -hmm. you read about the actual entity that lived Jezebel. Mm -hmm. But see, here's the thing. This is all the way here in the end times. This is this is prophetic. This is talking about the end times. Mm -hmm. Talking about that woman Jezebel. This is on a different level. This is talking about in a spiritual sense. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. Which call of herself a prophetess. What are they doing at Christian church here today? Don't they have prophetesses? Mm -hmm. You see what I'm saying? Ah, and I'm going to tell you, God's going to give you a blessing. Oh, yeah. Go ahead, sister. You can make it. Mm -hmm. All that shit like that. Sloppy. Go ahead. To teach and to seduce my servants. Who's the servants of the most high? Mm. Is it men? Mm-hmm. Is it black, Hispanic, and Native Indian men? And how do how do they seduce them? They seduce them, you know what I'm saying? There's a plethora of ways. Right. But one way is to make them homosexuals mm. in that goddamn Christian church. You see what I'm saying? They then gave you a white Jesus, you know what I'm saying? This um <laughs> a homosexual white boy, mm -hmm. and they told you that was God. So you looking in them blue eyes and you feeling some type of way. Uh -huh. You know what I'm saying? We don't do that here in the Israelite School of Universal Practical Knowledge. You know what I'm saying? Go ahead. To teach and to seduce my servants to commit fornication and to eat things sacrificed to idols. Man, and ain't that what it is? To commit fornication and what it say? And to eat things sacrificed unto idols. To eat things sacrificed unto idols. Ain't that what a lot of black men do? What we just have the 4th of July, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? They want to um, honor Uncle Sam, you know? Uncle Sam, you know, with the tall legs and the red, white, and blue. <laughs> right. Ain't he an idol? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That's this. It's different layers to this, um, idol, yeah. to this um, precept. I'm just breaking down one layer. Yeah, that's one way they do it. Go ahead. This is verse 21. Go ahead. And I gave her space to repent of gave, her fornication. Gave her space to repent. 
of her fornication. And if you're a sister watching this tonight and you know you out there doing wicked, you got space to repent of your fornication. Mm -hmm. You see what I'm saying? You out there sleeping with different men. You out there in league with the goddamn white man. You need to be in league with the black man. And you need to be a soldier or salaki. You need to support a soldier. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Because really, that's the army of the Lord is for men, not women. You see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So you need to be a helpmate and help sustain that soldier, a black, Hispanic, or Native Indian man. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. And she repented not. Damn. She repented not. Damn. That's just like earlier in this uh, class I talked about, you know, the black woman that got shot in that drive-by. Oh, yeah. I mean, oh, yeah. you know, I'm, I'm just saying. I, I don't know the sister. You know what I'm saying? But mm -hmm. I know that um, when evil come, you know, I'm paraphrasing the most high. You know, he did it. He allowed it. You know, he brought them circumstances about. Mm -hmm. A lot of y'all sisters need to repent. You know what I'm saying? Or um, or you know somebody in your family that need to repent. You know what I'm saying? Tell them about the Israelite School of Universal Practical Knowledge under Commanding General Yohanan. Tell them to watch the streams. You know what I'm saying? I'm here, you know, Tuesdays from 6, you know, to 8 p.m. Mm -hmm. Tune in. You know what I'm saying? Go on YouTube. Go to ISUPK online classes. Yeah. Monday nights, watch Commanding General Yohanan, The Grill. Get the information you need. You see what I'm saying? So um, you won't be out there. You know what I'm saying? You need to repent because it's serious. Judgment is coming. I'm, I'm telling you as a prophet of the most high, mm -hmm. judgment is coming on to a lot of black, Hispanic, and native Indian women that is unrepentant. Right. You see what I'm saying? Right. You need a home. And the home of the truth is the ISUPK. You need safety. You need a covering. The Christian church is not going to give you a covering. You know what I'm saying? The Muslim mosque is not going to give you a covering. The Catholic church, you know what I'm saying? Right. Um, you trying to study Kemet, Egyptology, right. you know, spirituality. Um, you know, all that old weird <laughs> shit. You know what I'm saying? Astrology and all that stuff like that. Get out of that. You know, studying NATO charts and, you know what I'm saying? Um, chakras and all that kind of stuff like that. Get out of that crap. You know what I'm saying? Get into the truth, which is the ISUPK and the Commanding General Yohanan. Man. Any more on that? Uh, verse 22. Go ahead. Behold, I will cast her into a bed. And them that commit adultery with her. Wait a minute. I will cast her into a bed. Mm -hmm. Man, what do you see in the porn industry? Mm. Now I'm just this is just a level. This is different oh, as a as a a macro aspect and a micro aspect of this precept. Right now I'm breaking down the, the um micro. You know what I'm saying? The macro is on a wide scale. He says he's gonna cast her in a bed. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. And them that commit adultery with her into great tribulation. Into great tribulation. Okay, let's find out what it. Um, let's go ahead. Except they repent of their deeds. Except they repent of their deeds. What they doing in that bed? Mm. They doing some nasty things in that bed. Now, um, you might be, you know, what I'm saying, you might be watching from Atlanta or San Francisco or something. You, 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 a black woman out there, and you did something strange for a little bit of change. You understand me? <laughs> you did some straight. Now here's the thing about it: the bedroom in marriage is undefiled. I'm, you know, I'm just paraphrasing or whatever like that. But thing is, you out there every night, just being a nasty whore. You stripping. You know what I'm saying? You trying to um, go on date naps, trying to catch you a sugar daddy. Mm -hmm. You know, you done had about five. White rods down your throat. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? Now, here's the thing. You want me to wear, you know what I'm saying, little soft gloves and handle you with care. You see what I'm saying? But here's the thing. What's the name of this class? Being a soldier in hell. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to tell you to repent of your goddamn deeds, man. This is hell. 
It might seem like, you know what I'm saying, you're going to get a stack for 30 minutes of your time. But then, you know what I'm saying, some months later, you're coughing. Mm -hmm. You got to go to the clinic. They give you some bad news. Don't go out like that. Repent. You see what I'm saying? Because the white man is a ravenous beast. He sleep with his damn dog. And then you sleep with him. Mm. What the hell you think you're going to have? You understand me? Now, I know it might sound a little vulgar or, or uncomfortable. And that's the thing about it. Black man, and you dealing with this woman. You dealing with this woman in your house. You see what I'm saying? That's just like I brought out in the class before. You know what I'm saying? They go to their job in corporate America. Some of them might be in the boardroom. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? White man in his chair, he drop his pen on the floor. He tell Lucrece to go get it. <laughs> she go on the goddamn flow. <laughs> hey, you use your own imagination. I ain't gotta you know say the words. Right, she right. go, she go under the table and she get you know what she need to get. Uh -huh. And she got that goddamn raise. <laughs> After he raised her skirt up, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> right. Hey, I'm just trying to tell you, man. Yeah. Look, if you got a woman out there in corporate America, you need to keep her in check, man. I I, I don't know, man. I'd rather for my woman to be in the crib, you know what I'm saying, keeping house, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying, taking care of the home, taking care of the children, you know, mm -hmm. cooking and cleaning, and I go out and provide, you know, what I can, you know. Right. You know in a perfect sense, you'd be on a damn farm living on the land. You know what I'm saying? Right. Got your own cattle. Got your own uh, produce. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. That's in the perfect sense. But we're here in Babylon. We got to be a soldier in hell. Mm -hmm. You see what I'm saying? Right. And part of that process is dealing with your enemies. Three front attack. Your enemy, you know what I'm saying, who's the goddamn devil and his um, you know, agents who are the police. And then even... Um, on a, in another sense, is our women who's the inside agent. Mm. You see what I'm saying? Who's the undercover agent for him? You know what I'm saying? She go back, and that's just another thing. Like, a brother, if you're working with a, 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 a sister that's not in the truth, you better watch what the hell you're telling her, man. Because she go back and tell everything you said to her goddamn massa. Mm. Man, I can't stand these damn crackers in here. Mr. Mr. Blumenthal, <laughs> Mr. <laughs> Blumenthal, Tyrone said he doesn't like you very much. You know what I'm saying? Right. Oh, is that what Tyrone said? Well, thank you very much, Lucretia. Right. You know what I'm saying? Next thing you know, you know what I'm saying? You standing before the man, mm -hmm. like they used to say. You know what I'm saying? You know, well, you know, Willie. Well, you know, you know, they, they treat you like Willie Bobo. You know what I'm saying? Oh, oh excuse love, love. me. With Willie Lump Lump, Willie Bobo, excuse for all you bougie niggas, um, William Bobo, you know, if you want some respect, you know what I'm saying? And um, you go in there and they fire your ass because of something that a, a, a black woman told. You know what I'm saying? Those days are over, man. You know what I'm saying? Those days are over. Your only true body is in the ISUPK and the Commanding General Yahana. You see what I'm saying? Anybody else you're dealing with outside this truth is suspect. I'm just going to tell you straight. Uh -huh. Let me get my pen. But with that said, the recap. The name of this class, being a soldier in hell. You see what I'm saying? The Most High, in his word, he said that he's a man of war. Yeah. We talked about in the book of Ezra, where we got a battle, we got a battle to fight. Just like on this shirt, life is about war, nothing else. The aspects of that battle, you see what I'm saying? Just dealing with sin, that comes in a plethora of ways. You know what I'm saying? Um, your conduct, going against the laws, statutes, and commandments of the Most High. You know what I'm saying? You out there selling drugs, you know what I'm saying, trying to kill, steal, and destroy. Um, you're going to get called up. Mm -hmm. You got to battle that, man. You got to battle them demons. You see what I'm saying? Who's the characters, <laughs> who's the entities that you're going to come up against? 
You're going to come up against the white man, them goddamn heathens, police, and many times your own goddamn woman. And I can only tell you so much in this class. This is just kind of like, you know what I'm saying, an introductory on how to, you know, guard yourself. Just like they say, take up the shield of faith. You know what I'm right. saying? You got to have faith in what the hell we telling you to protect yourself. I'm paraphrasing. The whole armor. Right, the whole armor of God, of the power. Mm -hmm. You see what I'm saying? There's different aspects of that. And in order for you to be safe, in order for you to make it, being a soldier, what did Christ say? You got to endure hardness. Sure. It's not always going to be easy. I mean, but the thing is, is there's a reward. There's a reward for this. We're not just doing this just to be doing it. You got to have faith. You got to see it. Damn. On the other side of this, there's rulership. There's authority. I want that. Do you? If you do, we're all black. Boots, pants, shirt, headband, and scarf. Join the army of the Most High. That's in the ISUPK on the Commanding General Yohanna. You understand me? And with that said, we're going to close out the class. We have the ISUPK started out of 1 West, 125th Street, Harlem, New York. Rule for new brother and sister. When a new brother or sister comes into the school, they are off limits for six months. They are to be saluted only. They are here to shed themselves of the world. If they need transportation, the teacher will arrange it. After six months, if a brother or sister has an interest in a particular person, he or she must get permission from the head to speak to a brother or sister. There is another six months in which the brother and sister will court each other. After this six month period, the brother and sister will get permission from the head to marry. Ties, which is a commandment. Numbers 18 and 21, Malachi. Chapter 3, verse 8 through 10, means tenth in the Hebrew, Myashra, 10% of every penny of any increase the Lord gives you, give to the teacher. Priest fund, free will offering for priests, not mandatory, whatsoever amount you would like. Upcoming holy convocations. I believe the Next upcoming Holy Convocation is going to be September 10th. It's going to be the Memorial of the Blowing of the Trumpets. I'll get more confirmation on that. And we're going to say one prayer tonight. We're going to say the Lord's Prayer. So we rise. Say, I imagine. I imagine. That's like, that's, that's, okay. that's like right. Yeah, we stand. So we're going to rise and we're going to face the east. Here in Louisville, Kentucky, the river is north that way, so this will be east. And we pray to the east toward our homeland, toward Israel, toward Jerusalem. You see what I'm saying? Because there's a scripture in the uh, Bible that tells us to do so. You see what I'm saying? So we're going to say the Lord's Prayer. It's in Matthew chapter 6, verses 8 through 13. We're going to say it in the Hebrew first, and then we're going to say it in the English. So if you would, repeat after me. Raise your hands like that, and we pray toward the east. Abanawa. Abanawa. Shabbat Shemayim. Shabbat Shemayim. Kordash. Kordash. Hayah. Hayah. Shemka. Shemka. Yahawah. Yahawah. Malak Wafka. Malak Wakka. The Ba'a. The Ba'a. Rak Tazaka. Rak Tazaka. Aya. Aya. Aisha. Aisha. Ba'a Rataza. Ba'a Rataza. Kawa. Kawa. 
היה. היה. פשה מיום. פשה מיום. נתן. נתן. לנאווה. לנאווה. לקאם. לקאם. קאו. קאו. יוואם. יוואם. ושלאק נאווה. ושלאק נאווה. קבוק וק נאווה. קבוק וק נאווה. קשלאק נאווה. קשלאק נאווה. קבוק וק יאנאווה. קבוק וק בנאיה. ולאק. ולאק. דבייה. אביה. אנאווה. אנאווה. בנאסיה. בנאסיה. וואן. וואן. אבאו. אבאו. הוושה נאווה. יהשה וואווה. מיאן. מיאן. ראי. ראי. קיאה. קיאה. לקה. לקה. המלאק וואק. הלמאק וואק. וואה הלאק. יאווה הלאק. וואה דפו. אראק. יאווה הפה הראק. סלאקיה. וואה. יאווה ה. דפה. דפה. אראק. אראק. לאי וואה. לאי וואה. לוואם. לוואם. אמן. אמן. In the English. Our Father. Our Father. Which art in heaven. Which art in heaven. Hallowed be thy name. Hallowed be thy name. Yahweh. Yahweh. Thy kingdom come. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done. Thy will be done. In earth. In earth. As it is in heaven. As it is in heaven. Give us this day. Give us this day. Our daily bread. Our daily bread. And forgive us our debts. And forgive us our debts. As we forgive as our we, debtors. As we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation. And lead us not into temptation. But deliver us from evil. But deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom. For thine is the kingdom. And the power. And the power. And the glory. And the glory. Forever. Forever. So be it. So be it. We're going to say a courtesy salute to the brothers. So we do like this. I mind them Shabbat. You do like that. I mind them come together. Barak. You say Yahweh. Yahweh. Bahashim. Bahashim. Yahweh Shah. Yahweh Shah. Barakatham. Barakatham. Yahweh Matah. Hands down. Like that. We're going to say a courtesy salute for the sisters. We go to I mind them Shabbat. I mind them. Barak. Barak. Say Yahweh. Yahweh. Bahashim. Bahashim. I Salaki. Say Yah. Um. Yahweh. Bahashim. I Shemar. Bahashim. Yosha. And I know you ain't gonna get all that. Yah's Mata. I'm Mata. Class dismissed. Uh, a little bit of drink. I might have got it right. It's <laughs> lucky, so everybody. If I got it wrong, it's so lucky. I get it right. I get it right trying to get right. I know it's right. <laughs>